Johnson on the Audrey Johnson Show. I am sitting here at the most beautiful home, a love home, a very romantic home of David Loretti and Joanne King. They're very special because they're bringing hope to you. They're bringing hope through online video to share with you what's going to be happening on May 14th. May 14th, Joanne, the best woman this side of the moon, is going to marry me. <laughs> Lucky me. And I am a cancer survivor. About 15 months ago, I was saved, given a second chance of life with a bone marrow transplant. So we figured it would be very fitting for us to be married at a fundraiser for cancer. And that is hosted by the American Cancer Society. You had cancer about two years ago? Yes, May 27, 2009, I was diagnosed and my bone marrow was transplanted May 23rd, 2009. Wow. You also mentioned that part of your cancer is that they have to take your blood. It's gone and now you have new blood. Yes, actually I, I started with O positive blood and they pretty much poisoned it all out of me and refilled me with a 22 year old's blood from out of the country so I'm officially a young blood now <laughs> and I have a new blood type and now I'm A positive. That is fabulous. How do you feel about just having new blood and everything just exciting in your life happening? Invigorating. You? Positive. Life is great. <laughs> Now, Joanne, isn't this beautiful? Why don't you share with us? I understand you guys met through MySpace. We did, actually. Um, I don't usually play on MySpace very much, but I was having an off day that day, so I just checked it, and some guy asked for a friend request, and he didn't really have a lot of friends, so I thought, well, I'll check it out. And his page just sort of made me wonder more. So I asked him, his page said that he had been cured, but that was all. So I asked him what he had been cured of, and that was where we started our conversation. And when I looked back, actually, he had a lot more people that were interested in him on MySpace, but I got him. You got him. <laughs> now look at you guys, getting married on, on May 14th. May 14th at the Relay for Life at Buena High School. Um, we're going to try to break a world record for the most bridesmaids to one bride at our wedding just to get more press because the more people we can get to the relay event, the more people that will donate money so that more people can get this opportunity. Uh, but we want to have all of the colors of the cancer awareness ribbons represented in our bridal party. So we're asking everybody in Ventura County, yes, and you can be part of our official bridal party on May 14th at 4 o'clock. That's awesome. Now, I've also understand that you've created all these beautiful flowers, and you've not even a florist, but you've got this creativity came out. I actually just wanted these little balls, so I started to do them just for our uh, maid of honor, maids of honor, our daughter and my niece. And after I made one or two of them, I thought, gosh, this is really pretty. I'll do my bouquet like this also. And after I really started on it, I just thought, you know, I'm going to try to do as many of them as I can for everybody that's in our bridal party. So. man here who's very excited. Why don't you come and join us, um, David Jr., and so the world could get to fight. What do you think about this exciting time for, with your dad getting married on May 14th? I know you were happy to have him, period, back, but um, what do you think of this? I think it's going to be great to have a new family and to have a new life. A new life. A new life. Because you've seen your dad through some of the moments when he was going through the cancer, correct? Correct. And having him with a new blood, new life, a wonderful stepmom, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel excited. Um, Tell her what you call Joe. You call her your mom. Your what mom? My Joe mama. Your Joe mama. <laughs> it's your Joe mama. This is a very special day. Are you going to have a role in the in the, um, the wedding? I'm going to be the best man and the ring bearer. Wow. What do you like about the Relay for Life? What do you girl? like about the Relay for Life? What do you think about the Relay for Life? I think it's a nice time to get together with family and friends and celebrate the living of the sick. Of the sick, very good. And to see the sick alive again, right? Yes. Yes, very good. Now, David, is there anything else you would like to share uh, with the world out there? I would like to say that if anybody's life has ever been affected by cancer, even if somebody you know, 
If anything, you should come at 8 p.m. and see the Luminaria event and walk in that silent lap and see the bags that are lined up around a whole track. And this is just one small community of Ventura. And there is a bag probably every six inches and it covers that whole track. You will not walk that lap without serious emotion coming up. You will be in tears. It is so touching you cannot imagine. Cancer's big. It's, it covers way more than people realize until you do one of these events. And honestly, I did not want to go home. And also, while we're doing that, we are also have two bicycles we're going to be raffling. And there's several businesses in the community who have donated to us. So if you come, our team is this survivor. This survivor will marry his true love. You can join our team online at the Real Life for Life Ventura. What are we doing with them, little Joanne? We're selling them uh, at the Real Life for Life on May 14th to raise money for the American Cancer Society. And one of the theme laps that they'll be doing will be a hula hoop lap. And you can learn tricks from me. That's awesome. <laughs> be part of our team. Just come out and walk for one hour with us and be a part of history make uh, the news with us be on the audrey johnson show <laughs> she's gonna be there that's right we will be videotaping <laughs>